What's up everyone? Mandy here and today I'm going to be showing you our new test. Um, we're going to be dubbing this the Unicorn Radish Mix because it is three different types of radish. Um, we used the Hongbet, Rambo Radish, and China Rose Radish. We did 12 grams of each so that makes it 36 grams of seed per tray. Um, for our mediums, we're just going to be doing crack key over here with the BioStraight material and we're going to be adding a little bit of micronutrients in case our farmer's pride doesn't have all the nutrients that these may need, but it's mostly going to be farmer's pride for that. Um, and then over here, we're going to be doing a organic soil, which is a seeding mix by black and gold. <laughs> um, and we'll just see how these do against each other and I will see you shortly. Hey everyone, so it's day two for my unicorn radish mix and um, I was checking everything out and getting everything a little missed and I noticed that the roots surprisingly are poking through all the holes and in the past whenever we haven't added water soon enough those start to get brown and we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding their water to them. This one's going to get plain water and this one's going to get the farmer's pride nutrient solution. Um, but we're just gonna stack them for one more day and then tomorrow we'll start uncovering them. Hey everyone, it is day three of my unicorn radish mix and today was uncover day and introducing them to the light. We already began adding the water yesterday and um, this one is a craft key style. So the roots here are just dipping into the water and pulling up water as they need it. Compared to over here with our dirt, it does not need nutrients because of the soil. We are just bottom watering it. So probably by the end of today, this water will all be sucked up and we might have to add water again. Just depends. Um, but that's it for today and I can't wait to see how beautiful these are gonna look tomorrow. It is day seven of what I am dubbing the unicorn radish mix. And we're gonna go ahead and call this harvest day as well because we noticed that this tray is ready. Um, this one we would normally give another day or two, but because we're doing a test between the two, we're gonna harvest both of them. And something that I already noticed right away was the cotyledons on this side are a lot smaller than they are on the crack key side. Um, and then also, I don't know if you can tell fully because of the light in here, but if you were here, you could tell that this side is definitely a sh probably like a shade or two darker than it is over here on the crack key side. Um, so that's just what I can tell from right away. We're going to go ahead and start with the harvesting. I'm going to probably harvest this guy first, and then we will do the weight test and taste test, and we'll figure out did either of these win against each other or are they both just as good? So our radish that was going in the seedling mix tray weighs 337 grams. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to our crack key tray and then we'll do the comparison. So we got 433 grams on our crack key tray, which is about 100 grams more than it was on the seedling tray. 
Um, so obviously Kratky won in weight. So now that we have finished harvesting these and we got the weights for both of them, we're gonna go ahead and do a taste comparison and we'll figure out which one tastes better in our opinion. We're gonna start over here with the seedling mix. Here you go. The one that I got was pretty dang spicy. <laughs> it definitely bit my tongue a little bit, but um, tastes really good. Tastes just like the radishes, really nice. Um, so let's move over now to this crack key one. Curious to see if the crack key ones are juicier because we've been noticing that with other microgreens. The spiciness took a second to actually hit my tongue, but it still is very spicy. And once again, with Kraki, it was juicy. Um, I kind of feel like these ones are spicier, but they both taste really great. Um, it, I think it would just depend on what your preference is in taste, but both did excellent taste. So, I mean, I, I know this one won in weight, <laughs> but as far as taste, it's kind of between both of them. Um, so let's move on to what did work and what didn't work. So what we feel did not work, um, cracky stem color, it seemed a lot lighter over here with the Hong Bit and the China Rose compared to the seedling mix. But I don't, we think maybe a nutrient deficiency because it was just water, but I mean, it's hard to tell. Um, but what did work was BioStraight. We got awesome results with that. Once again, we haven't been really having any issues with that. Um, bottom watering did a really great job as well. Um, crack key, crack key is so easy and it, the growth is usually really great with it. I think the only time we had it not so great was um, amaranth, I believe. Um, we used the 18 watt lights this time instead of before, I think we were using 40 watt lights and that made everything just, it, it did not taste good. <laughs> um, but, and then also the seedling mix, the seedling mix did a great job. It, everything grew really great, but I don't know. We're, I think we're biased because we just, we love the ease of the crack key. Um, it just, it's so easy to do it this way, but that's what I'm gonna call this on the winner. I know it, there's not really a full winner to me, but I feel like this one did better because it did taste a little bit better and it just gave us more weight. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm going to set this down real quick, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please ask us. We love answering them. And if you want to subscribe to us, please do. <laughs> and then if you want to follow us on Instagram, we are at on the Grove farms. Thank you guys and have a great day. Okay.